Hello again viewers, welcome to Las Americas Tenerife, we're outside the Papagayo Beach Club, we're heading down past the Veronica Strip, do not fall into this trap, if you think they're coming to Tenerife for the first time and you think it's just all Veronica Strip, Las Americas lively, it's not, I'm just going to show you the liveliest part here, um, during the day it's pretty calm to be fair, this is McDonald's across the road there as well, so we're heading down this way, and uh, you'll see that the Veronica Strip really doesn't have much going on during the day, at night it comes alive obviously with the young ones a couple of shops round the back there Foot Locker, the Hotel Gala I've met quite a lot of viewers who tell me there's a wee gate out the back that you can cut through the Hotel Gala and come out this side as well uh, quite a lively location mind you as I said I've not stayed in it but you definitely could hear some noise now the, the interesting part about this place Veronica's is that during the day it's really quiet out the front I've just done a video there um, all the wee beach bars, it's absolutely beautiful out the front there so the back end of Veronica's is so different than the front end here during the day you've got Subway, KFC so don't fall into the trap you think you're coming to Tenerife, you think oh it's too lively Veronica's this tiny wee strip here and round the corner I would say is the only part that's very very lively late at night and it's maybe a younger crowd everywhere else when we go beyond here or go back the way to Hideki it's pretty quiet and laid back um, and I'm not even saying this trip's even, it's not even that wild really anymore, it used to be back in the day but it's still got plenty of bars and nightclubs obviously. Uh, there is a new club opened around the corner called the Club Las Vegas, I can't show you unfortunately, you can walk by, it's down the wee side street at the Sol Tenerife. So there's the Veronica Strip, it's so quiet during the day, the only place sometimes I see open during the day is Jordi's Sports Bar, um, where a younger crowd go in and watch the football. Check out Webby Sports Roundup, I think one of his mates owns Yordi's as well, he's done a wee video in there. But, yeah, just don't fall into the trap, don't think, oh, I couldn't go to Tenerife because it's, it's too it's too lively in the Veronica Strip. This is the only part that's pretty lively. We've got Jumping Jacks, Revolution, Sugar Reef. We're going to continue on, I'll show you a couple of other bars and restaurants on the way here. Um, I know that all the regular viewers have seen these videos a lot of times but you never know sometimes who we're meeting who will pass make sure you're new place, there's lava over there, it's quite a nice place now we're talking about lively parts this is the other bit I would say is quite lively, up to the left here you've got Garrison's, you've got an Irish bar you've got Lineker's, uh, Highlander you've got Tramps so you've got quite a lot of places um, really aimed at the younger market up there the play at Azul apartments up there. I get no sleep in the apartments. Uh, oh, there's a wee tourist train. There we go. Oh, full today. Full today. Let's continue. The guy with a Celtic talking by there must be going to watch the game. Starting very short, uh, very soon. Right. We taxi rank here, this, note this when you come out of Veronica's, if you're staying anywhere within half a mile I'd recommend just get a taxi late at night, um, I'm not saying that there's always people hanging about here but just be sensible, just get a taxi up the road, if you've been in, out all day and it's 3-4 in the morning, easy to jump the taxi. Right, so at this point we start to go in the slightly quieter section but still can be quite lively here but I'm literally showing you the liveliest part of Las Americas a lot of people ask Kevin, coming to Terry for the first time um, is it a decade? is it lively enough? is Los Cristianos lively enough? well yes and no um, Los Cristianos has got 7 or 8 bars, maybe more on the El Mirador strip from the Highland Paddy, the Hoops Bar down to the vault with lots of entertainment You've also got the 19th hole near the Buddies Bar Entertainment as well on the Swan. Um, so you've got plenty going on at the top of Lost Chris. Down the bottom, you've got um, Dreamers Cabaret Bar. You've got the Fountain Bar sometimes on Monday or Thursdays, has got live music. Um, Churchill sometimes get karaoke, quizzes and stuff. So there's plenty going on in Lost Chris. But I think for the actual late, late night places, You've got the Dubliner up here, which is fantastic. Uh, the best band, uh, one of the best bands in Tenerife, the Dubliner band, the won awards and stuff like that. Really good. On till three in the morning. 
Leonardo's later on will be absolutely jam packed. It's a sun trap there. Um, at night, I don't think they've normally got that much live music and entertainment on, but they've got lots of sports inside, so it's kind of younger crowd in there as well on their way to Veronica's. Travelers Rest, to find, is a kind of bit of a mix. Um, pretty popular as well, you can see. There's a really mixed age group in here. But a very, very popular pub that's been here for many, many years. That's the Travelers Rest. So yeah, getting back to you, a decade, is it live enough? Well, in a decade, down at Farnaby, you have got a couple of bars with live music and entertainment. You've, you've got the Temple Bars, got some good live music. Across the road, you've got San Eugene's. You've got the Irish Rover. Uh, you've got Scallywag's Family Bar in Porto Colón. You've also got a couple of bars that are busy during the day. Hopping Grapes and the Kegan Church has got live music during the day. So you've got plenty going on and also Sunset Bay Complex, that alone has got seven or eight cracking wee bars and uh, they've got live music entertainment up in the square especially on a Wednesday and a Sunday. So I'm just trying to cover all the bases for you. Um, if I was young and coming to Tenerife, I'd probably come to Las Americas to be honest with you. Um, my favourite bit of Las Americas is actually not really round about here, apart from the Dubliners are really good bar late at night. Gaelic Corner, very good, going to see Paul and his band in there as well, very good. But the part of the past stripper bars, I've got quite a few people ask me, they're coming to Terry on their own solo travelling and they've said where would they stay in Las Americas? And I said if the budget uh, can go up to it, maybe pick the volcano, the Bitacora round about there because you can walk round the corner on the Park de la Paz strip and have seven or eight fantastic bars, the Bull's Head, the Hole in the Wall, Highland Paddy, the Corner Bar, Bram's List, Highlander, um, all those bars have got something different on every night and you can walk round two minutes round to your hotel safely home with no taxis or anything like that. So, it's pretty safe around here anyway, as I said, you just need to be careful in any resort that's quite lively with young ones, uh, with discos and stuff like that, but to be fair, just common sense. There's PJs, met a few viewers in there the other day, it was quite funny, they are coming on holidays together and they were at the airport and we were talking and uh, they mentioned the channel and they both didn't know they watched the channel, so they both watched the channel and they didn't know that, there will be another video, you'll see them, uh, I heard this is really good, Mrs. My Aggies, um, Rick and Shelley, check it out on YouTube, they've done a wee uh, review in there. H10, Las Palmeiras, over there. Colon 2. So, this is definitely the liveliest part of Las Americas, without a doubt. A few wee bars and restaurants across the road here as well. I'm actually heading up to the Coral Suites and Spa to meet my mum and dad and friends. We're just heading up there. Um, some of them are flying home, we are going over to Lost Chris. We'll probably have to get a taxi back because we've got bags and stuff like that. So although it's a nice walk to Lost Chris from here, half an hour maybe, probably need to get a taxi. So if you're coming to Tenerife for the first time, it's got something for everybody. Fish and chips, pop in, see the guys at Palms, fish and chips, done a wee video there the other day. The Railway Tavern on the Bell, quite famous pubs that have been there for years as well. And then we've got the Dubliner and the Gaelic Corner there as well. I found that shop's new, I don't really remember that last time I was here. So, as we go further up into Las Americas, I would say it starts to get quieter when you go up towards the Golden Mile, up towards Park de la Paz, um, up to Las Vistas, the Compostela Beach uh, Apartments, Family Garden, round about there, it starts to get a bit quieter. H10, Las Palmeiras. See if we can cross over here. So Gaelic Corner, a really good bar for live entertainment at night. Pop in, see Paul and his band. And then down the stairs is a place to be from midnight onwards in the Dubliner. Um, so if you are young coming here, my number one recommendation would be Las Americas for late night entertainment. The Park of the Pass trip is just five minutes around the corner. But most of the bars there finished at one o'clock, with the exception maybe of Highland Paddy, it's still up to about two. 
You've also got the sax, live music bar down in the left here as well. And this wee place here, La Fiesta, is it, what's it called? Malamia. That's where I've done a wee video with Paul and Laura in the queue to get in the nightclub. Yes, the queue to get in the nightclub. So the wee nightclub there, popular with the locals. More of a Spanish vibe. So good places to eat, including Tanduri Hut over here as well. Daniel's will be busy later on. Down to the right is the patch. I've done quite a few videos down there. Showing you Bad Bob's, the Billy and all the other places. Kev's Chill Out Bar and all the surfing shops are right down the bottom there. It's really nice down there actually. Now, this is where I would say it starts to get more of a quieter vibe. Part Santiago Apartments just coming up here as well. La Siesta Hotel. Let's check my time actually, how I'm doing. You can see the weather's pretty good today. It's like 25 degrees. Oh, this place here, I forgot to tell you this. So you can have a bath and beer. How exciting does that look? Kind of waste the beer really, isn't it? <laughs> Don't know about that. Right, let's continue. Last yesterday, I tell you, I've got another video talking about that. Um, I've stayed in there, you can check out the room reviews. Rooms are fine, no complaints. Like the location as well. So I'm going to be taking a left here and I'm going to be heading up to the Coral Suites and Spa which is on the main road heading down towards Marshalls and the Chieftain Bar if you don't know that and it, again the Coral Suites and Spa is one of these hotels that you consider if you want to go to the Park de la Paz stripper bars because it's literally just round the corner I think we'll finish this one at the last siesta so don't fall into the trap thinking that, that uh, the whole of South Tenerife is just the Veronica Strip, it's nothing like it, as I said, I'm just showing you how busy it is uh, during the day. It does change at night obviously, but as we get in here, it starts to get a lot quieter, and we head towards beautiful Los Cristianos, my favourite resort, and um, there's just so much to offer in Tenerife, this is why it's the number one Canary Island in my opinion, you do not get the variety um, in all the other Canaries that you've got here, I can walk half an hour to Los Cristianos, I can turn back and walk half an hour to Costa Adeke and stay in a five star hotel, I can stay in a wee horror hostel up in Los Cris, so there's something to suit all budgets and, and believe me viewers, I've done it, I've stayed in all these places, so you'll see uh, five star hotels on the channel and you'll also see zero star hostels that should be shut down, <laughs> check out those videos, okay I'm heading round this way to meet the guys up at the Coral Suites, Thanks for watching, hit the wee subscribe button, don't fall into the trap thinking Tenerife's just Las Americas, Veronica's, there's loads to Tenerife, um, this is a small part of it, and I thought I would show you what it's like during the day in the busier parts. Beautiful Tenerife, can't beat it.